prosthetics have taken a giant leap since the day when peg legs had a foothold on the market. These striking changes, as you can see here, can be attributed to advances in areas such as biomechanics and composite materials. I'm here in Basingstoke at a company called Blatchford, who specialise in prosthetic innovation. They are attempting to take things a step further and experimenting with microprocessor-controlled prosthetic limbs. I caught up with David Moser to find out about their latest foot product. So essentially what we have here is the Elan microprocessor controlled foot and there, there are two elements to it. There's a hydraulic ankle portion um, which may, makes the, the natural ankle movement mm -hmm. and also um, carbon fibre springs which mimic the, the lower region structures of the foot. And the hydraulics um, ankle unit here is electronic and microprocessor controlled. And what it does is it adapts the stiffness of the ankle unit so that we can actually modulate and control the amount of mechanical energy that goes in and out of these springs as a person walks. And the system is designed to, to in real time, detect uh, walking requirements, changes in walking speed, and changes in the outdoor environment. For example, it'll detect uh, changes in surface incline and um, it will adjust the hydraulic module here in either direction to modulate the amount of energy going in and out of these springs. Um, there's a lot of amputees can typically spend five to ten thousand steps a day depending on their activity level. And the world isn't a flat environment. It encompasses a lot of variation in types of the terrain that may be encountered. So what we're trying to do here, rather than from a conventional prosthetic device which has no adaptive qualities whatsoever, we're actually making each individual step optimised to the requirements. And that, in the end, has a, has a big payoff for the amputees, because if you can make a step a little bit better, over thousands of steps, the difference at the end of the day from the amputee is they're not tired, they don't have back pain. Mm and they're able to do more in life and they, they adjust their, their lifestyle accordingly. The products go through intensive testing before they are brought onto the market, with each product having to withstand millions of cycles. The next step for Blatchford is, is to integrate a microprocessor controlled foot with a microprocessor controlled knee to enhance the overall end results. Saeed Zahadi explains. The technology has brought us now to a point that we are now seeing we get a much, much better functionality of the devices, both from energy management and also from the functionality of the knee controls and the ankle controls mm -hmm. when we can combine the two together. Okay. By having microprocessor control knee joints that we have yeah. and the microprocessor control ankles, we know the performance of the knee and the ankle independently have increased. Mm -hmm. When we combine the two, mm -hmm. we are actually seeing a, a sort of a much larger scale yeah. effect. Mm 